So now let's see how we can work around with annotate inside of Blender. So here I'm in my 2D animation mode. And if you want to work around with annotation on the left hand side, you can see that on the bottom, there's the annotation option. So you got the annotate right here. And if I were to click and drag this out, you can see that I can simply draw around. If I were to go around and rotate this, then this is what you can see. So if I were to go around over here, draw it in 3D view, you can see that that is what I can do. I can go around onto annotation line and then I can draw out the line over here as well. So similarly, you can draw out the line as you can see. I can go around over here onto annotate polygon as well. And that allows me to uh, make a polygonal annotation as you can see right here. So that is how it actually works. Then you have different things over here like annotation eraser, which allows you to erase these annotations as you can see right here. And you can notice that this works in 3D mode. So if I were to go around over here onto a general mode of, over here as well, you can annotate over here as well. So you can simply draw around as you can see, and it is there for your reference. You can draw around whatever you like, and then you can see that it is drawn in 3D view. You can go around into annotate line and everything else as you can see, and then it all gets stuck in 3D view just like this. You can go around with polygonal annotation, you can erase it out according to how you like it, and this is how it actually works. And that is how you can work around with annotation option inside of Blender. So I hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.